So again, we got to remember sort of how absolute value works. It works in PEMDAS. Which part of PEMDAS is it? Which part? Parentheses. Okay, and remember, you can't do anything to the inside of the parentheses until you get rid of them. And we'll, uh, we'll see that how you do that. You don't, it doesn't follow the rules that all other parentheses do. They're their own sort of separate force field in a way. All right, so the first sort of step-by-step -step way of solving, and again, I'm going to go through the step-by-step, -step, is to isolate the absolute value. And be actually, before we do that, absolute value is the, what do you think it goes to? Distance from zero. zero. That's the official definition. All right, so step by step, I need to get the absolute value by itself. So what needs to get out of there? Three. So we're going to subtract three. Oops, mine's three. And let me erase this. And Wait, so that, that's for math. Oh, I don't want your websites. Yeah, it's just, it's just like this is going to go. Okay. So subtract 3 from both sides, and you're going to get 2 absolute value x minus 5. That's gone. Equals 8. All right, what are you going to do now to get it by itself? Divide by 2. This is 2 times. I'm going to divide by 2. It's gone. Absolute value of x minus 5 equals 4. Okay? And then here's uh, the thing that you can do. You can write it two ways. You can do the step-by-step -step way. Or you can do the stop and think about it. The stop and think about it, honestly, if you get it, makes the next lesson much easier. So I'll do the step-by-step -step way, and then I'll do the stop and think about it way. Uh, the step-by-step -step way says I now take this and I put it into two equations. X minus 5 equals 4. So I just write it without the absolute value. And X minus 5 equals negative 4. Because the absolute value could have been something positive or it could have been something negative. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then how do you solve each one of these? Add five. Let's do the same step, right? So in this one, this would say x equals uh, nine. nine. And that one would say x equals one. And so there are my answers. X equals one and x equals nine. Now the stop and think about it way is to go back to this. Absolute value is the distance from zero. Absolute value is the distance from zero. What makes this absolute value zero? Five. X would be five, right? X would be five. The, th the number that we put in to make it zero, I like to call that the center. Because that's zero is the center, right? So, in this particular case, I have to put in a number other than zero to get zero. Putting in five makes it zero. That's my center. How far can I be from my center? Four. Four. Four is the distance from the zero in here. So, five is the number that makes it zero. That's the middle. And the number out here that the absolute value is equal to is how far you can be that you are from that center. So the center is 5. I'm 4 away from 5. I'm just to draw a number line to help you visualize. Here's 5. What's 4 that way? 9. Nine. What's 4 this way? 1. That's the same answers, right? Yeah. Sweet. Isn't that the 1 same, and 9. Isn't that the same thing as what minus 5 makes 4? Well, but and what minus 5 equals mega 4, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. But it's said in a different way. It's the distance from zero. It's the idea rather than the steps. Yeah. Okay? What num- and, yeah. So getting the idea will make this easier, and there's actually different kind of problems where they give you a graph on the number line, and then they ask you to write an equation to represent the graph. And if you don't get this, it will be possible for you to do. Okay? So anyway, so let's transition. This is 1.4. This whole thing is 1.4. Transition over here. This is now in 1.6. What's different? Um, inequality. 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 I actually even made it the same whole equation, right? So how do I start it? I subtract 3. It's the same idea. So I'm going to subtract 3. So 2 absolute value of x. 
Oops, not plus. Minus 5 is less than or equal to 8. You should all get these answers right. I'm covering the old ones, I guess. The absolute value of x minus 5 is less than or equal to 4. And here's why. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step way, but I'm also going to tell you the stop and think about it. The stop and think about it says graph on a number line first and then write the answer. The step-by-step -step way says write the answer, then graph on a number line. And I'm telling you, for these ones, it's almost always easier to graph it first and then write the answer. I'll show you what I mean. Where's the middle? Uh, five. 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 Okay, hopefully that makes sense, right? That's what the middle was here. So I'm going to go to a number line. Here's my middle, five. Where are my boundaries? How, how far away from five are my boundaries? Nine. How far away? I mean, you said the two numbers, but how far away? They're four away from five. The boundaries are four away from five. Which are, Taylor? What, what are those two boundaries? Nine and one. So here are my two boundaries. Can I equal those boundaries? Yes, so am I going to do a solid or open dot? Solid, because I can equal those. Now here's the question. I want you to think about this. The absolute value, the distance from the middle, is less than 4. So does that mean I'm going to go away from the center or towards the center? If the distance is less than 4. Away. If I went away, that's farther away than 4. Right? How far away is 10 from the center? How far away is 10? How far is 10 away from 5? 5. Okay. So I got like a few different answers. <laughs> anyway, that's more than 4 away. This is the most it can be away. The biggest, the farthest one out is four. Oh, so you're going in. So I'm going to shade the inside because all the numbers in here are less than four away from my center. Oh, four away. Less than four away. Less than or equal to four from the middle. And now once I have this, I can write my answer. X is between... What two numbers? One and nine. One and nine. Oh, Jesus. Cool. Okay? Now, here's the step-by-step -step way, and I guarantee you it's not simpler. The step-by-step -step way, you have to remember that unless the, that when you have less than, this is an and statement. That's key. And then you write it twice. Just like you wrote this twice, you write that twice. X minus 5 is less than or equal to 4. So the first one is identical. See? And, he's ready? X minus 5, and here's where it gets a little tricky. First of all, what number do you think I'm going to write over there? 4. four. What number did we do here? Negative 4. Negative 4. But I'm going to flip it because I just made it opposite. In the absolute value, the opposite one gets flipped. I like that way better. Okay. Now let's solve each one of those. This one says, at 5 you get x is less than or equal to 9. This one says, if I add 5, x is greater than or equal to 1. But then you got to remember, this is an and statement. Because it's less than. It's an and statement. Do you see how this is getting confusing? It's an add statement. It's less than, so it has to be both at the same time. So I need to write it as one thing. How do you write something that is both greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 9 at the same time? 